Hi folks, we have moved shops five times since we started this adventure in CNC machining and manufacturing about 10 years ago. What started as a bench top tag next to the pillow of my Manhattan apartment has now got us to a 10,000 square foot facility here in Janesville, Ohio. And we love our shop and we love that we get to do this. That being said, shop layout is really tricky. Some of our machines we can move around with a pallet jack. Other machines like our Haas VM3 weighs 16,000 pounds. We can move it, but we've got a higher rigor, schedule it, and it's a lot of work. And there's a lot of things to be said about the right way and the wrong way to lay out a shop. So what's the best way to figure this out? Print your shop. We were excited about this, but we had no idea it was going to be as useful as it's been. We picked up a piece of MDF from Home Depot. We painted it and we used our laser both to cut out the floor plan, but also to include the expansion joints. As a general rule, you don't want to place any machine across an expansion joint because each section of concrete will move separate from the other one. And if you don't believe me, stick an indicator in your machine on a part and drive something like a forklift in front of the machine. You'll see it deflect, you'll see it move. So by having a machine all on one pad, the machine tends to move together. Now there are some exceptions to this with some different machine tool designs and bases and three point leveling and so forth. But as a general rule, it's at least good to be aware of. We then fired up the 3D printer. You can print these any which way. I honestly thought we were going to use our inexpensive 3D printer, but we've, so, we've gotten spoiled with the Mark Forge because it's just so reliable. And then you've got to get those 3D models. So Tormach is awesome. They make almost all of their machines and parts and accessories available uh, as 3D models. Haas does the same thing. So you go to HaasCNC.com, download those machines, even the ones you don't own yet. If not, the internet's your friend, Google search, or even GrabCAD to find those machines. Worst case, just mock up a quick footprint. Ed went all out on our VM3 and did a quick paint job and it looks great. And it's actually really useful because there's an aesthetic element to visualizing this shop. And the attention to detail really is helpful because we can see this and you can visualize exactly what it is. So it's not just putting the banners and the stickers up, but it's putting the doors in the right place, the center post, and being able to instantly recognize the machine for what it is, not having to look at just a sticker. So we might actually paint even more of these. Some laser cut foam board did the trick for the sidewalls. Again, cheap and easy. And then after we printed the machines, we realized how much more useful of a tool this was going to be. I first thought we would do this and then throw it away. And after we've started using it, I realized we're going to keep this forever. It's going to be an incredibly useful tool as our shop changes and grows. So we printed our toolboxes. We printed a forklift to understand, hey, when you back that forklift up, can we get it through a spot? Can we load a machine with it? What about picking up a jib crane or a bridge crane? And obviously we need a Judd. So I highly encourage folks to consider doing this. It's very inexpensive. Again, if you don't have a 3D printer, it's easier now than ever to get access to one through a makerspace, just buy one, or you could send the parts out to be 3D printed. Same thing with laser cutting. Lasers are amazing. If you don't have one, just a piece of cardboard and a box cutter will do the trick as well. We printed our shop on a 1 32nd scale. It's a common modeling scale. It just worked well. It was big enough to get a good visual, but it wasn't so big that it was cumbersome. And I'll tell you, it's surreal. If you crouch down and look through one of the man doors or the roll-up doors and you look into the shop, it really looks like the shop. So folks, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you soon.